Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm wearing my bike outfit. This can only mean one thing, but first I got to share with you this. I completely wrecked my hand. You see this scarf? That's from building the studio and cutting with the saw into it. Then next to it, a small one just happened last week. And yesterday evening, I burned my hand. It hurts like crazy. I reached into the oven at my parents' place to get bread out of it and I touched at the very top the metal that is heating up the entire oven. It made this smell really burned. It even opened up and started like, um, there was like fluid coming out, really nasty. The, the skin looks like fried chicken. Yeah, still smells. But anyways, um, it's Saturday. As you know, I wanted to be more active. So let's just ride that bike as long as I can. I hope nothing happens, like not really having the, the best time. Quick little break with my friends. My banana is also still here. It's a little frozen because we're right below the freezing point. There's everywhere ice. Banana? Anyone? No? So I guess it's mine. But yeah, made it up here in 30 minutes, around eight kilometers to get up here. It's the highest point of the city. So usually here the, the lightweight airplanes take off, but during the winter, of course not. I will now just right back home i think like uh should take me another half hour if i do a little bit of detour and all downhill I need to be really careful because here in this forest i once had an accident like the worst i ever had i i will go to the same place but this time not try to ride it down as fast as possible <laughs> since the banana is gone they're leaving they're very opportunistic you can also leave there's there's no more banana bye See? This right here, I don't know if it really, it doesn't look that steep in the camera, but believe me, if you go this down with 50 kilometers an hour, it's fucking fast. And back then was the first day where I had one of these, where you can measure how fast you go. And up to this point on that day with a new bike, like two bikes ago, I was at, I think, 48 kilometers per hour max on the entire way up here on the straights. So this hill, I wanted to get above 50, which was just really, really stupid. So I came all the way from there with full speed down here. And at this point, I had the 50. I just looked down, I had 50, was happy. And then a meter later, there's like a small bump for the water to flow. And with 50, if you go above that slow bump, it just elevates you like crazy. So I fell down right in there. I did multiple turns on the floor down at least like eight, nine meters the bike also. And one turn, it landed on my head. You see these pedals with the spikes? The pedal just hit me right in the head. It was of course bleeding like crazy. I don't know if I was unconscious for maybe a minute or two. I really don't remember. I just got up and oh, I forgot to mention I didn't wear a helmet. That's that's how I actually got that big scar on my head. But yeah, it started bleeding. It went all down my face. I had a white shirt on. It was entirely covered in blood and no one around me because it wasn't like today a saturday where it's actually quite busy here in the forest it was during the week and the morning no one here like just me my knee is also bleeding and i fell into i don't know what that plant is called in english but the one that makes you itchy on the entire body that on top of that and i had only one option to get on my bike again and try to ride somewhere to get some help i didn't know how how much it was bleeding or how big it actually was on my head but quite a lot of blood very scary so i got back on my bike and i had like 12 kilometers in front of me to the hospital i all the way luckily downhill so it wasn't that bad but the blood was dripping down my chin onto the floor onto the bike until i finally reached the hospital at the end it wasn't too bad they stitched it i think like with six seven or eight stitches so not that big but it was quite deep 
like the pedal really hit it hard and what was even way more terrible was the cleaning of my knees i had all of those little stones from the ground underneath my skin so they had to pick them out of there again and rub them out of there it was really really painful i even got something to bite on so if there's one thing we learned from that it's taking it easy slow and wear a helmet 100 percent never again without but i can't top all of that like while i was in the hospital this was so crazy i, I actually have to show you something that i have at home to make this really understandable for you so let's let's just head back home and then continue this story it's insane i've never seen something like that so this right here is what i wanted to grab just to continue that story so i was at the emergency waiting room because my emergency wasn't too bad actually and while i was sitting there and, and bleeding and like really not knowing what actually happened a woman entered the emergency room looked at me and asked me where she could get to the doctors and i looked at her she was like she had panic all in her face and then i looked at her thumb and this was like sticking right through her entire thumb. I don't know how she managed to do it. As you know, or might know, these things are for, I don't know what it's called. Okay, it says crochet. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but basically you can make out of a garment clothes. I mean, there's the version with two, this is the version with one. I actually once learned how to do it. So you make a knot and then you grab a little bit of string and push it through. And I think by pushing through, she pushed it actually through her thumb. I don't know how, cause you need so much force. And I mean, you would stop. I, I don't know. I've never seen something like that in my entire life. So it was really right in there. And you might see the problem if you want to get it out again, that's almost impossible. So I sat there for like 15 to 20 minutes listening to that woman. I mean, she of course was able to get treated before me. So I sat there and for 15 minutes, I've listened to someone screaming like I've never heard it in my entire life. I don't know if they pulled it back through again, which has to be extremely painful or they, they tried to cut it. I, I really don't know, but she was screaming like crazy. I really don't know how. I mean, there's so much you have to go through. Maybe it was a little bit thinner than this, but even the thinnest ones are still like huge. Yeah, <laughs> really, I don't get it. I've never seen something like that. So what do we learn? No matter how shitty your situation is, there's always someone that is in a way, way shittier situation. So appreciate what you have. Speaking of these situations, this is now all opened because of the gloves. I mean, yeah, I knew this would happen. But it's actually not that bad and it doesn't smell anymore like uh, burnt anyways i think that's it for today i'm like really exhausted due to riding the bike and the entire week crushed me like it was really really busy i don't know if this comes across in the vlog because it's usually just like sections out of my day where i try to make space and time to film actually but it was quite intense so i think i will just do a really long nap maybe watch some movies let me know in the comments like one of your accident stories. I know everyone has one, has a scar somewhere that tells a story and maybe what you learned from that. For me, it's definitely the, the helmet and maybe not reaching into the oven again and not cutting with a saw like this. I mean, really just stupid things. I, every single time I knew I'm doing something stupid, I still did it and then the shit kind of happens, but that's usually the way it is. This time, this time, this time. 